going on guys and welcome back to the hungry road today is going to be a very fun and special day i'm going to be doing two things today neither of which i've ever done before one of them driving on a track we are headed to lime rock park here in salisbury connecticut or whatever no one cares about the city name because it's lime rock connecticut and two driving a porsche i'm going to be attending the porsche experience here we're going to put a few different cars on the track test them out see if i might want to buy one probably not because i can't afford it but it's going to be a good day so come along for the ride Porsche Cayenne S getting ready to do the hill climb. We're going up. Supposed to be going to it's called Blue Sky Hill. Keep going, 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 just let off everything now. All right. You see it barely yep. let you go back, not even a half inch. Yeah, hill Locked hold is in. active. Okay. Yep. And that'll be standard on pretty much any of the Porsches. Now, the best thing is actually keeping that camera on right now. Oh, okay. Because otherwise, you're looking at that blue sky like he was talking about. Ah, you got yeah. no idea where you're actually going. Okay. But as you can see now, you can see right over the top of the hill. It's not just living on a prayer I there. I can. You know what you're doing. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. So at this point, uh, and it's also kind of cool as you submerge in the water. If there's enough water, the camera might go underwater for a little bit. Okay. So you kind of keep an eye on that. We'll see how you do. Uh, from here, you're just going to add throttle. You'll climb over the hill but then you're gonna to need to do the braking on the way in the water and kind of shooting for that no wake, just kind of a nice okay. smooth water All transition. Right. I'll meet you on the other side. Cool. So we are stuck on the hill, not stuck, but the car is holding itself. I have no, no gas, no brake. I'm gonna continue. We're gonna keep going. All right. Blue Sky Hill, they call it. That wasn't so bad. All right, now we're gonna go into the water. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, 22 inches of water. Inches Be of water. sure not to open the door. Right. <laughs> we are in the water. Camera. Right there, you can stop. Stop, now, okay. If you look, uh, your exhaust is actually underwater. Yeah, a little burble action there. Uh, yep, you can hear that. Uh, there's really no issue though, because it's got enough thrust from the motor that it can't get all the way into the engine as long as you keep the car running and uh you know your intake is actually up at the top of the hood it's about 38 inches okay. so there's some room i guess in an emergency that you can probably get through a little crossing if need be but it can sit here all day at this waiting height and nothing happen and be all perfectly happy so yeah with that uh you can see out the door you know if you look out the window i should say yeah <laughs> it's, uh, no water deep. no water coming in We're yeah. good so you can pull up then. We're going to have you do another hill hold and we'll uh, just let some water drain back in the pool. So hill hold right here? Uh, yeah, just up here. Alright, leaving the water now. I'm going to go up. Come out the water a little bit. Let's try that side camera. All right, the side camera here. Yep, so now you're gonna be able to kind of maybe use that potentially. I want you to climb up nice and high along that berm. Okay. And uh, if you need to, you can kind of use that right side camera to make sure you're To not go over the, the edge. Yep. <laughs> okay. And I'll have you go three quarters of the way around and we'll stop you there at a nice angle. And at that point, we'll change the screen and see what we can get for an angle for you. All right. So now we're gonna head off to the berm, which is gonna put us in about 20 degree bank. I'm very curious to see what this feels like using the side cameras here. All right. <laughs> it 
This is nuts. Yeah, you tell me a little more. Right about there, if you stop. No, All right. In uh, in red there, it says off road. Uh, just on, yeah, right there. Press that. You're at 22 20, degrees. 22 degree bang, huh? It's yep. Not, not so bad. Not too bad, right? Now I can shake it here. I can stand underneath you. No worries. <laughs> Porsche says 35 degrees is where we're gonna have. Some, we have to have some problems. Okay. So you still got 12, 13 degrees in hand. Sweet. But uh, I know it doesn't feel like that from up top. So. I know. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that, you can just kind of keep walking right. Right around then. Let's roll. Put the cameras back uh, on. Try to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, leave that camera. Before, don't change the camera quick. It's not on. Good. Yeah, just drive like oh. that for a second. All right. Yeah. It'll, it'll sometimes lock you out if you're at an angle and you try doing it. All so right. I want you to turn it on now that you're flat, Sweet. but uh, it'll also lock you out otherwise. So. All right. Didn't want to do that to you. So we got a little breather here. And we're, right. What are these called? Uh, moguls. Moguls. So okay. Kind of like skiing, kind of thing, but. Uh, we're going to go to the third one or the second one on the left, I guess, mm -hmm. and get your front tire, left tire up on there. On the second or third one? Uh, third one total. All right. I'll, I'll be over here to stop you. Let me show you some structural rigidity of the vehicle. So it's right about a little further. Right about there's uh, maybe a little more. There you go, right there. Kind of get it teeter tottering a little bit on just two wheels. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, we got yeah. two wheels in the air now. Yep, okay, just two wheels. Yep, this one's up about a foot in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side's off just a little bit. And again, you know, you're not hearing any creaking, you know, windshields aren't cracking, doors open and close, <laughs> you know, fit and finish, just well overall built. Porsche, you know, quality. I'm with it, craftsmanship. So, with that, you'll see how easy it is to just easily just kind of keep rolling. Uh, Kind of center yourself to the moguls and you can kind of at a walking pace just keep crawling over them all right so whenever you're ready gonna continue with the moguls here so these are designed to test the structural rigidity of the car and you know nothing crazy happens while you're going through some wild bumps this is a good time It's not tugging the wheel out of your hand. It's nah, really it's nice not. And solid. You know, some vehicles wouldn't like some of that stuff. Try pulling the wheel out of your hand. For sure. All right, got some regular gravel here. Yeah, just kind of walk over all this. I kind of call this the primitive road. Uh, oh yeah. Some of the national parks they have those roads that are closed in the winter, but you can drive on them in the summertime. True. They're un untended, you know, and we got some river crossings in some of those. And this thing would be obviously ideal for getting off the grid that little bit um, you know not all off-roading has to be crazy moab right you know, big jeep stuff you know you can still just go get a little bit out of the riffraff and go see some parts of the park that not everybody can all so. right so i guess you want my left tire to go around that uh yeah pretty close to the edge the rear tire no we'll track a little bit behind you so just keep a little bit of if you use that side camera it works pretty good um all right, yeah. switching the side camera you can here. See where the white and the uh, brown are defined. So now we're doing what's called a negative yaw. It's not yaw, a negative tilt. Where we are tilting the vehicle in the other direction, but I'm using the side camera here to keep the wheel or keep the tire on the track. This is very nice. I like this. I like this a lot. That wasn't so bad. We're gonna do it again. Come around the corner. I stay a little bit to the left. All right. Got some rocks over here. A little bit longer. Right about here, you can turn nice and sharp to the right. Climb up the hill real good, real high. Yep, I can see the camera here is helping me out. A little harder right, you can climb up even more. There you go. Send it up the hill that at that angle there. <laughs> it's like scary to kind of put your car through this, right. but it, it can handle it pretty well. You can feel all effortless it's doing it. Yeah, I know. That's what makes it that's what makes you dangerous at that point, right? <laughs> the car is doing all the work. Yeah. 
All right. All right. So we're gonna pull to the bottom of the hill and then you two can switch yep. and give it a try. Second event is going to be the autocross. We have the 718 Boxer GTS with the Ford Leader flat six engine. Gorgeous car. This is the autocross portion of the Porsche experience and we have one of Porsche's instructors in the cars with us at all times telling us what to do as far as gas, brake, turn, turn your head, things like that. I was not allowed to put my camera equipment into the car just in case it flew off the windshield and hit one of them. It's a liability reason. I hope you guys understand. But the course consisted of an outer lap and an inner lap and we were timed on it. Winner got like a pair of Bose headphones and stuff like that. Needless to say, neither one of us won anything. All right, guys, we're at the last event, the track. This is the third event. We're gonna be driving a 911 Carrera S, driving a Taycan 4S, and a 718 Boxster GTS with the four liter flat engine. This is gonna be amazing. So the first car we're gonna get in today for the track is gonna be 718. A little Boxster action, should be a good time. Needless to say, I was very nervous about my first time driving on the track. We had a follow the leader format because this is not an actual track day. This is a test drive. So we had one of the instructors in front of us and I think three or four cars following him. So we had to keep pace with him. The faster we could keep pace with him, the faster he would go. If he saw us lagging behind him, he would slow everybody down because it's a test drive. It's not a track day. So enjoy my nervousness on the track. My very first time on a track driving these kind of cars. Next up is the all-electric Taycan 4S, Porsche's latest creation, electric car. Should be a good time. It's going to be a very quiet drive. <laughs> Inside the... T All right, we've all seen the track already, so we're going to lay the land here. Yeah, I can feel the I'm weight. Save it to the reference cone. Keep your eyes up. Feel the weight of this car much heavier than the last one. So interesting driving silently like this. <laughs> no 
No engine noise. Yeah. We're gonna be breaking at the three cones here down on the left edge of the track. Hard on the brakes. Yeah, brake pressure. Gotta add more. Woo. Ironically, the Porsche Taycan was probably my favorite car to drive on the street, but not on the track. It's about 46, 4,700 pounds, which is like literally 8,000 pounds heavier than the other two cars that we drove on the track. And it was just really heavy and it honestly made me a bit sick, even while driving, let alone being a passenger. So I would keep this one off the track, but it'd be a great car to drive on the street. You know, daily driving and stuff. Breaking at the number five board. Hard on the brake pedal here at the five. Lastly, the iconic 911 Carrera S. Flagship car. Porsche. I'm so excited to be able to drive this one here. This is the hot lap part of the Porsche experience, but the drivers actually get to drive us around the track. You'll see launch control demonstrated right here. <laughs> 